what's up guys, Murmdrifted here, and I am back with Ars Magic 2 1.2. Oh yes, it is out, it is public, it is amazing. Now, a couple things I wanted to go over. First off, I am re-recording this because uh, it had happened that my mic was muted the whole time. Yay, let me get rid of these, because I'll get back to them anyways. So, a couple things. This is, um, as you, uh, by the title, is Ars is an Ars Magica tutorial. Now, um, what, my most viewed video is how to craft uh, spells with using essence with Ars Magica 2. And that was episode 7 of my Let's Play. And a lot of people were kind of disappointed that it wasn't an actual tutorial. So, since Ars Magica 2 1.2 is now out, I'm going to be doing Ars Magica 2 1.2 tutorials of different mechanics and stuff so I can save time in the actual let's play of things. Now, first, a couple things you want to know. Um, if you're wondering what these are, these are Magitech goggles. They kind of replace the Magitech staff. Since you don't have to right click, this is the recipe if you want to look at it. Now, I'm only going to be covering the, how to basically use the, the new Nexus system, the new power system, or as it calls it in the compendium. I believe it's something like... Ethereum system, that's what it's called. Okay, so let's get started. Now, in here, you're going to want to create an obelisk. This is basically your light neck, or er, neutral nexus. It's four ventium, four smooth stone, and one chiseled stone brick. Now, let me grab this. As you can see, this is what it looks like if it basically works. You right-click it and you put a bucket of liquid essence inside and it burns like coal, which creates power. So you don't have to do the whole block thing and such. Now, in order to create a light nexus, which you might have seen over there, this is the, um, what is it called? I can never remember off the top of my head. Celestial Prism, and this is the Dark Aurum. It's your light nexus. Dark Nexus, Neutral Nexus. So, but I personally think they look a lot cooler. Now, in order to make the Celestial Prism, I don't grab the chalk. Crap. I need this. So, you basically plop that in the middle, and then you do this. You make this shape. So you make almost, like, pants, and then over here you extend off of it, and make more pants. And you basically do this all the way around. This is the setup for. Then you take your uh, candles. And if you want, this is how you make wizard's chalk. It's that. And in order to make warding candles, you take string, pig fat, lard in Minecraft, and a witch would slap. It looks like the Destructor Disc from Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what it's actually called I in the Japanese, so don't hate me for it. Okay. So, what you're going to want to do now is grab yourself some Moonstone. And you're going to want to grab a Mana Focus. And, you know, Moonstone, how to get Moonstone. Mana Focus, you would craft it... You basically stand focus with Ventium Dust, so yeah, it's cheaper. To, it, you don't have to go to the Nether and all that to get this. Well, I mean, you need light, so I guess you need to go to the Nether either way, but meh. So, in order to do the ritual, or rite, whatever you want to call it, you just cast your spell inside the... Crap. Cast your spell inside the chalk... Huh? Why is it... What? I was positive that's what it was. Rituals. Purification. Mana focus. Moonstone. Tis what I did. Okay, I messed up somehow. Let me just try uh, putting in Moonstone. Putting in a Mana Focus. Casting Light. Ins okay. 
Okay. Weird. Okay. Eh. Am I getting ghost items? Is that what the issue is? Hold on. Let me just delete these. I did not have this problem last time I recorded this. Figures. The time I'm actually recording. And mana focus. And moonstone. Get rid of the squid egg. So we drop moonstone, drop mana focus, and You working? This is weird. I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I figured out the issue. So it was either that <laughs> I have to cast it directly on the obelisk, or you gotta place the obelisk after you make the chalk. Try both just to be safe. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Either way. You have to be close enough. Dang it! Okay, you sit there. And the stuff that goes inside just has to be anywhere within the chalk. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about... It's light! Sorry. <sighs> Alright, so that's how you create that. <laughs> Great, already off to a bad start. Hooray! Anyways, now this is a bit more difficult, but it's not too hard. Place your two candles down, you place the chalk in this fashion, and you go back one, and do this, and then you repeat the other side. Quickly do that there, and then you place the obelisk in the center, and then you cast uh, fire damage. And I tried to cast it without putting in the proper materials, of course. So you're going to want a monster focus, and you're going to want sun stone. Blah. And then you cast fire damage. When you get a dark orm. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. So, so once that is complete, you've made your nexi or ethereum structures, whatever they are called. You can then pair them. These are already paired, but you basically just right click and then right click. Eh. The source node. Oh, it's full. I think that's the reason. Let me grab... Stop. Let me grab ores. Eh. So that'll use its power, and then I believe if I right-click this, and then click that, it'll pair. Yeah. So, if you don't know what the different power systems do, you're completely new. Fine. We grab a couple more stacks of iron. Basically, the dark orum creates dark essence, which is fueled by mobs. So this is a reason to have a mob farm. If I just spawn in a bunch of villagers, and the longer they are alive, the more power it'll generate from them. Oh god, that is annoying. But that gave it a good bit of power, and... So, now, the way that it works by default is that Light Essence will smelt the slowest, I think. That's how it was. Either way, Basically, lightness essence is supposedly slower, but it will double. Wait, 
Huh? Okay, that's new. I guess you have to add and change things in order to get things to smelt. I will go over that in another tutorial, but in the original Ace Man 2, Light Nexus would do it. Okay, so there you have it. That's how the three Nexi work. There are other uses for them later on, but I'll get into those later. And if you have any specific tutorials you would like me to do, specific mechanics to go over and things like that, or do you rather just have an elaboration, then let me know in the comments below. So, also, in about... 33 minutes, it will be my birthday. Well, it'll be the day that I was born, not the exact time. So, I was born June 29th. Or, that is my birthday, which is probably going to be when this is up. So, happy birthday, Derp! Yay, I'm turning 15, if you did not know. Uh, surprise. And, other than that, I can't wait to mess around with this in AM2 with, with the Let's Play. And it's going to be fun. There's just a lot of cool things to do. I really cannot wait to get it in this. Yeah, so if you like the tutorial, you like my videos, or you just want to be awesome, comment, like, and subscribe. It helps out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Murph Derpster, signing off.